We're on our way out of Tokyo this morning. It was all a bit of a rush because I think it's about 6.30 in the morning. I haven't had time to check my watch yet today. On our way to catch a train out to Ibaraki. Meet our host families. So that's why we're all dressed up pretty like. We're going to stay here for a month. Go to classes at a Japanese college. Say to them, or if they knew very much English, so that was a good time. Just everybody was really welcoming, and like I was really nervous about being uncomfortable and like things being awkward, but it wasn't at all. Running in an earthquake is dangerous. The whole thing is moving, and so you don't want to run. I'm following it. He knows where we're going. I was really nervous about meeting my host family because, I mean, these are the people I was going to be living with for the next month, and it was just a really scary thought. So scared. I was kind of excited to see who my host family was going to be. I guess I was. Y'all just kind of sat in this room. And then two strangers would come up to everyone, but in my case, there was just one old man. My host really didn't speak English or anything, so like sitting down with them, I was just like big smiles and like in like a wave because it's like all we could really do. Well, I wasn't nervous, but oh, it was weird. I was afraid of my host dad because I didn't know what he was gonna be like. His dads are always scary. <laughs> His brother took a piece of the cardboard that was in the bags and stuck it where his teeth are. So he was already like making me super comfortable. I was really glad he was there. <laughs> Driving home actually took a really long time because I lived farther away than anyone else in a city called Kasama. I got in the car with my host sister. She's the one who took me. I guess she just was like playing American music. She started playing Green Day. And like I was just like, cool, thanks. She's like, you like? I was like, yeah, good. But it was fun. I loved my host feeling. She's like, the language barrier was definitely made some interesting nights, interesting moments. So I got home with my host father, and I was, we're still waiting for my host mom to get home so we could start dinner for the first night. And uh, I, we were so wiped out that day just because everybody had been, we'd been walking all over Japan, and we'd been driving and sitting on trains all over Japan, and we hadn't slept in a really long time. And so I got there and I was sitting on the couch and it, there was like no conversation to be made because my host dad didn't speak very much English and I spoke even less Japanese. And so we just sat there and eventually I fell asleep sitting up. <laughs> I think I woke up about a half hour later and he just looked over at me and chuckled a little bit and he was like, sleep okay? <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> my host sister, who is named I, not to be confused with I. Her name is I. So I'm not going to touch that. 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 I don't know. One thing that I really loved with my host family was how they would uh, really try to teach me about their culture and like make sure, you know, I had all these different, you know, authentic Japanese experiences. They decided to teach me like traditional Japanese calligraphy. I just, I don't know, it was really interesting how like they just like really enjoyed like showing me like their culture, like they took such pride in it. My host sister, I, and my Japanese dad took me 
on a tour of an Edo period house. It's really cool. So beautiful. And Oto-san taught me how to do a traditional Japanese tea ceremony. I think I had the most amazing father ever on this trip. I would go watch TV with my dad and we were watching all these funny shows. And one time we were watching this news, and it was about these walk marching. So all this, this school was doing these walk marching things. It's kind of cool. And all of a sudden, my dad gets up, and he's like, show me how they do it, pacing back and forth on the living room, which is pretty small. <laughs> like, showing me how they march, and just going back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, okay, okay. And he was just like, okay. He would sit down and they'd do something else. And he'd be like, oh, I have to. He would get up again and show me how they did it, just in case I didn't get it on the TV, you know. So the first night, I came downstairs and I took my first shower in this awkward room. And I came out wearing nothing but a towel because I hadn't brought any clean clothes down with me because I still didn't unpack my suitcase. And uh, they were both my host parents were in the living room, and my host dad was like getting up to go over to the counter as I came out. And as I walked by, he just looked at me and went, "Oh, nice body," <laughs> and then started walking towards me like this. And I just like I just remember saying, "Nope," and then I just ran upstairs, <laughs> which I later found out was just a really weird joke, but. I was terrified in the moment, so that was a good time. Later that night, my host sister I took me to a local jazz festival. some hot chocolate and just sat and enjoyed the music. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. I'm Takuto. Takuto, I'm Jessica. Jessica. Yes, or Jessie. 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 Uh -huh. Jessie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Culture. So we had this really great Japanese teacher. 
you would do the entire class without saying anything in English and it was it was really humorous since you know most of us didn't know a lot of Japanese. And I feel like a little kid sometimes, but it worked pretty well. It was very interesting. Print it out and put it Please do. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sick of you showing up. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> Reminisce of my oh, Vietnam War. I, 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 I think what we all need is like a group nap to all because <laughs> we're all acting. It's <laughs> high time. <laughs> <we have guests. laughs> Who in the heck is trying to find Japanese toilets? It's like Jabba the Hutt's toilet. <laughs> 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 The most exciting adventure called the Misadventure of Japan. Super Galatine. We're seriously going to do this. Again, in Kyoto. Sibu Medi Sacred Espasso, Asimiki Nefu. Adams decided that for our end of the year performance at Ibaraki Christian, it's just kind of a traditional thing, our class was going to do a performance of Lean on Me, but the Glee version. when you travel the world with a retired chorale instructor. Golden leaves fall down, autumn leaves forth from hiding, a chill stalks the air. Three in, out. Remember, summer is gone line. Press the power key. Luckily, my host family was like, you don't have to eat everything, so I would try everything, but I would never finish anything. <laughs> my family made me eat everything that they made for dinner, but that was pretty okay, because Okasan was a fantastic cook. I really loved everything she made. I really loved going over to Japan and just getting the authentic Japanese food. I'd never had a lot of like sushi and stuff before. Everything I tried there was delicious. Even the natto that we tried. So my host father uh, really loved this Japanese dish called natto, which is fermented soybean. And uh, I had the privilege of trying it one night during my first week. And it comes in this little styrofoam square rectangle thing. You peel it off and there's just a bunch of, there's like a little pack of beans and they're encased in this waxy really unedible looking substance just coating all of them. So you stir it together with your chopsticks and you eat it. And the first thing that I realized was how much it was sticking together. It's like pulling taffy apart, but it smelled so bad. Like people say it's so horrible, but you know, we had it with like rice and I don't know, it was, it was, it was pretty decent, I thought. Anyone who says that it's good is wrong. <laughs> teaching the Ibaraki students how to play ninja. Yeah. <laughs> 
We're about to go out and see the Japanese sunrise from the beach. And I say it's alright. Do 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 do. Oh. We're on our way to the beach. Yes, I'm walking slowly. I just woke up at 5 a.m. Give me a break. I can see the ocean. Like we made it. The sun's not up yet. The sky's turning pinky orange, and it's so beautiful. なりやすくなるのか聞いてきたあなた。俺がか、この惑星の住人は常に何かに対して怒っている。電波強くなるのよ。順次良くなりますので。順次っていつよ。もうしばらくお待ちください。ダメだこれ。これずっと。お願いい
game show time. Yeah. You're excited about what, Logan? The beluga whales. That's where it's at. They have. Woo! Well, my host mom and host dad, and they were like, do you have a coat? Do you have a coat? Uh, coat? You know, and um, they didn't speak very good English, so it took a long time to figure it out. But I was like, no, I think I'm fine. Give me all directions. <laughs> she was worried about it being cold because we're by the sea. I thought it was a blanket at first. <laughs> Don't love me. Oh. Don't love me, I could die. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to try and help some of the victims of the nuclear meltdown that happened last year in the earthquake and tsunami. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. I wish there was more kids though. It's really cool to be able to hang out with them. Jesus? Six. Six eggs out of that. Uh, no, that's only five. That count does not know how to count. You can get these outside. We can see more crazy. Hey, Dr. Adams. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
but I wasn't expecting like the foundations of houses to still be there. Kind of gives you a chilly feeling. decided to make some biscuits. Nandeska. <laughs> Nandeska. <laughs> it didn't exactly go really well. We kind of burned them a little bit. Maybe they'll taste good with jelly anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they were edible. Well, they really, they tasted kind of good. I mean, we had fun with it, so that's what matters. These are really tall. And that makes like kind of peace in them. Friendship. So friendship. Thank you. So. So. <laughs> guy like a, a couple days before we did the flower arrangement and so when I got there I was like I know what to do I'll copy the famous guy I tried to do this by myself but she felt the need to help me <laughs> but I was just happy that I was like she didn't fix mine she was just like oh okay <laughs> oh hello <laughs> I just learned my name in kanji, which apparently means hero, beautiful, hometown. Apparently it means mercy, and that's ironic. Honor taste. <laughs> oh, protection stump? What is this madness? My name means picture of the night. Earth lucky. I should be a farmer. Bean paste. Yeah, I'm gonna call you that for now. Love and beauty and fear. To win and cloud, or it could be a fast cloud. It's like. Yeah. Mine means beautiful lying down raccoon. A black road. <laughs> beautiful Japanese dancer. So, M just got a talk from Mariko because her host family is very concerned about her. M, do you want to say why your, why your host family is concerned about you? They think I'm too good and too quiet. <laughs> she's the party animal. Dude, she's the in Ibaraki, we got the opportunity to uh, visit a temple there, and the monk there was a personal friend of one of the instructors in Ibaraki. I'm not in a temple mood right now, to be honest. I'm way too silly, and I don't know if I can let all this silliness subside. Gee, Helen, the binomial gnome thing, charging gnomes, and uh, this one you can really see has. It's in like creases under the eyebrows. Just to be like reading all of the. Uh, uh, Ma mantra. Oh, mantra. Hi. Mantra. Um, Which this hand do you use? Go to the Nigi. Don't worry about it. This is where we like. It was really fascinating to be able to go to the temple, see him like perform a traditional like blessing and prayer for us. 
had those other Buddhas, like a, like a baby kind of thing. You mean us? Yeah. So this is kind of like, they think of it as a, the power of the sun, actually. Uh, yeah, it's called a mandala. mandala. We saved uh, him to see it long. He's watching Tolt. Oh, I love this movie. I know. This evening. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some sweet bread of some kind. It's not hot. No for you. It wouldn't be an absolute. Oh, she's like, oh, thank you. Uh, favorite band, I want to ask, but I guess. Uh, I don't know. I better not ask in Japanese. Careful. Uh, Can you ask him what his favorite band is? Ah. I know. Ichiban Skina. Bando Deska. Bando. Nan Deska. Hello, long time no vlog. We are in a like ten star resort. Is that our window? Oh, looking yeah. looking outside over the most beautiful thing ever? Okay. So what now? This is fantastic. Oh, oh. And there's a the window right there. Oh. I want to try in the man monos. Not yet. Oh, we have man kimonos? Yeah, we have man monos. We all have man monos that we get to wear. I'm I'm really excited. Is right there now. three of them or just two of them? Maybe there better be four. Three. Are there four? There's four of them. One, One two, two, three, four! Yes! Yes! This is fantastic! You're fantastic! Sean, how are you feeling about this right now? I'm having culture shock about it, I think. Are you Honestly. having positive culture shock? It's amazingly positive do we, culture shock! Do we have a second? So cool! There's a oh my gosh! That's I call There's the Tommy. a futon closet! I call the Tommy. Ah, wait, this we, place is the best! Hang on, hang on, hang on. We haven't even seen the bathroom oh, yet. Oh. Bathroom? Bathroom, um, bathroom? Don't bathroom. get your hopes up. It might not be that good. I don't care. My life is complete. Where are you getting bit? I'm not crying. My, I am very much My crying. eyes are, are happy. <laughs> A regular shower. We have a regular shower <laughs> with lotion that fits us and a human height and regular shower towels. thing and real towel. Sterilized. It's been sterilized. The floor doesn't play. have poop on it. And Look, we have little man slippers and we have a mini fridge that has a bunch of ex no no expensive stuff. The man slippers fit my feet. This is just really glorious. This is like heaven. Honor. Heaven came down and glory filled Build the hello refrigerator. They had the teaching of Buddha. We have a shoehorn. It's <laughs> <laughs> a huge shoehorn. I didn't bring my cowboy brush. boots. We can learn yes. about Buddha. Uh, I feel like all my friends back home are going to watch this and be like, you've changed. What's wrong with you? Japan happened. That's what happened. Or is wrong with I, I, me. I'm working on it. actually feel like you're walking through a Disney cartoon sometimes. It does, especially because I'm super trippy right now and everything's doing the Hunger Games. You got stung by a tracker jacker? I did, and now I'm walking through Disney Sea. Dance for us, Rachel! <laughs> Some people and 
they wouldn't let me do anything after that because they said I had walking pneumonia and I was super contagious and I, everyone around me had to wear masks and I felt really isolated. But I laid around the house and slept. So we got to go to the beach one day and we took all, all sorts of these pictures and um, there's one where we're pretending to do the Titanic like looking out over in the water um, and me and Aubrey wanted to jump off this cliff so bad and our sisters wouldn't let us. And Oh. You didn't know that? It's a pumpkin cake. <laughs> I'm a pirate Mario zombie, zombie w in a frog hat. Yeah, I'm a cat. Who cooks? Oh. I'm Goku. Oh. So cute. Oh, Hello, oh, Obi Wan oh, Kenobi. Oh, come in. Come in. I'm a dog. <laughs> Kitty <Candy laughs> Mouse. I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my uh, uh, little host brother, he would, when we went to the onsen just for the family, um, we decided that we were going to try something with the hot and cool pools. We would go into the sauna, it'd be hot, um, and then we'd go into the really, really cold pool and just like sit there. We'd be like, it's really cold, and then run into the sauna again because apparently that was good for your uh, blood circulation. And so we kind of made that as a game. <laughs> Like, I was like swarm. Now. What are you guys up to? Uh, we're playing 
uh, rock, paper, scissors. Oh man, I gotta go. My host mom, who spent the entire time we were there fixing me some of the greatest Japanese style food I've ever had, decided she wanted to take me out the last night I was there for an American style steak dinner. But when we look at the menu, eh, it's not a steakhouse really. It's it's more burger patty house eat, and it was just a burger patty with some Swiss cheese melted on top and some rice on the side. I was really grateful and it was a good burger patty. Uh, maybe the best burger patty that I've ever had in my life. <laughs> we all got our little diplomas, we got up on stage and uh, they just kind of slapped us up there and then cued the music and we were like, uh, <laughs> we don't know this. <laughs> say only one at the end. So we sang that part really well. Festival food. 
That's a lot of ketchup. Thank you. 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 Thank you.